Hello and welcome to EMS for SolidWorks Tips and Tricks. In this video, I will talk to you about the concept of band in EMS. Band is a necessary feature when you want to couple your EMS simulation with motion. In this particular example, you see an actuator where the moving component that you see in the top is enclosed within a SOLIDWORKS geometry called band. If you notice here, band is a separate component in SOLIDWORKS that encloses the top moving component. You also have to ensure that using the cavity option, you subtract out all the moving components that are within the band. There are certain rules that you must follow when creating the band. All moving components must be enclosed within the band during all the time steps of your simulation. Once any moving component leaves the band, your simulation will stop and all the results will be recorded up to the previous time step. You also have to make sure that only the moving components are within the band. Any stationary component any component that doesn't move, they have to just, the best they can do is touch the band. They cannot be inside the band. For example, in this particular uh, linear actuator, the moving components that I highlight here, they are completely enclosed inside the band that I have highlighted here. The band is transparent so that you can see all the moving components. Now let us see in the EMS study the first thing when you go to the study properties and if you go to the coupling analysis and when you check the motion coupling and after selecting the respective motion study you need to make sure that the moving components are selected under the moving components box and then the band is selected here. Now EMS knows the moving components as well as the band inside which the moving components are enclosed. We did a magnetic study and here you can see the results. Here is a section plot of the magnetic field flux density where you can see the moving component completely enclosed inside the band which is actually shown in blue in color here. So now that I can go ahead and animate the same, you can see how the moving component moves only within the band at all time steps. You can now start to see the animation of the plunger as it moves down. Notice that it is always within the band that we created in SOLIDWORKS. The biggest advantage of creating a band is that during every time step EMS will only mesh what is inside the band. As a result the solution as well as the meshing process consumes the least amount of time. Thank you for watching this video.